I was watching this YouTuber. He he goes by the name of Cars and Entrepreneurs or something like that. His name is Richard Cooper. Now, he definitely has a lot of good advice. Um, but the thing that people have to understand about these YouTubers is they don't really care about the people. They, they are narcissistic people who tend to care more about the clout that they get or the financial gain. For instance, in this video, he was talking about sports teams and men following sports figures. And I can relate with him when he says he don't watch sports. Myself, I like sports. I like to play sports. And I prefer to play sports on the video game because I like to be interactive. I used to be able to watch it, but a part of me really didn't, wasn't really 100% interested in just watching it on TV. But I did watch it on TV. Um, well, he, he, he had this, like, attitude where, he's got this attitude where it's like, men should always be pursuing excellence. And, yes, we should be trying to be the best version of ourselves for sure. But, to always be working and not enjoying yourself, I think you just have to have a balance. You know, he might have this, the, a lot of these people who are life coaches, like I said, have, they, they come out with some good advice, but there's, people have different personalities. Maybe this guy, Richard Cooper, he likes to work all the time because he's a workaholic. So, and, and, and he gets pleasure out of financial gain. Somebody like me, I'm not motivated by finances. I'm more motivated by spreading the message, spreading what I have to say, spreading truths, what I believe are truths, and... I definitely would like to get clout. That that's something that um, motivates me, but it's not it's not really um, financial gain. But you know what I'm saying. And for him to be like, kind of like looking down on people because they follow sports and following sports isn't bad. It kind of gives people something to talk about, something to relate about um and the way they say it's like a, it's a colossal waste of time well it might be a colossal waste of time to him but other people it might not be he you know everybody has their way of relaxing maybe maybe this guy he's this ultimate giga alpha chat as he as he tries to proclaim he is or acts like and he gets his relaxation by reading. Well, you know what? I really don't like to read. So I would rather play a video game and then listen to content. Um, educational content. Not everybody's the same. So if you're, if you're listening to a life coach, yes, they have good advices, but... Just because their advice might not be good for you personally. And the way that they achieve to whatever level that they are, it might not be the same path that is good for you. Um, also, you have to understand is these life coaches, they don't talk about their flaws usually they don't talk about the struggles it's kind of like it's kind of like social media this that's what this youtube thing is kind of like social media people always put their best 
foot forward. Like going on a date with somebody the first time. You always want to put your best foot forward. They don't talk about uh, the boredom that they have, the, the pain and suffering that they go through in their life. Like this world, there's a lot of pain and suffering in this world. People who say, like I don't, I don't relate to people who say you got to enjoy every second of breath that you take. I just don't relate to that. Because in my life, there's like constant struggle. And it's so much, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of learning uh, and all this. But some people, they have it better off than other people. Like these conservatives or, or, or people like Elon Musk are telling people to have kids. It's like, you're a person that has a ton of money. Yes, it's, it's okay for you to have kids. But who are you to tell people that don't have kids? any money to have children at this point I think it's highly irresponsible but a lot of these conservative people do this so just because something works for somebody doesn't mean it's going to work for you you have to figure out what's best for you um, I think that I think a lot of these, these red pill content creators which I think they have a lot of good advice and I like a lot of the things that they say but they're obsessed with this fascination of alpha and beta and and there's no way that every like I don't care you can take Jason Statham or the most alpha like the rock do you think that this person is alpha and every aspect of his life I guarantee you there's somewhere in his life he's beta I don't care who it is you know people people that are strong willed and, and that are alpha they they have weaknesses we all have testosterone and estrogen running through our veins and I just think that there's a lot of good things that these red pill people say. But I think that the, that it's 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 not so black and white for what they say. I think there's a lot of shades of gray. Um, and and it's good to try to be the strongest version of yourself. But there's also times where you have to be a support system. You know, um, not everybody can be uh, alpha leader in a project at work. There's got to be supporters. There's got to be beta followers. So let's say that, let's take the military. Let's say that we're in a platoon. Is everybody in that platoon an alpha? No. They might they might be strong, but they're, they're supporting the alpha the leader the alpha in the platoon there's always a leader so there's my point is you have to be able to in my opinion you have to be able to like analyze a situation and control your ego and and like for me i don't have no problem being the support system in different scenarios i don't care about taking the lead um, uh, like for instance, like in basketball, when I'm on a team, I know my skills. My skills is, is like a point guard. Somebody distributes the ball, dribbles the ball. But a lot of the times I let other people do it. I control my ego and just be the support. And I just think that for me, I don't like conflict. And if I try to exert my will when I know somebody else on my team um, to try to fulfill my ego it'll it'll be worse for the team so that's what I'm saying is it's not always I'm the I'm the big bad King Kong gorilla alpha all the time that's just a lie and it's not realistic